I'm going to show you how to set up a Minecraft server by port forwarding. So the first thing you want to do is come to Minecraft.net. This is the official Minecraft website. You want to go down here under Buy Now, where it says Play Minecraft. You're going to want to click on Download. Scroll down, and then you'll see it says Multiplayer Server, and you click on this link right here. You want to save the file. Once it's done saving, you want to put it somewhere safe, like on your desktop. And after that, you want to create a folder where you put the uh, Minecraft server on. I'm just going to call it MC Server. Then I'm going to put the Minecraft server inside of the folder. Now what you want to do is, once you're in your folder, you want to run it. Now you're going to let this run. And once it gets to 100% and says it's done, then we're just going to close out of it, and then I'll show you what to do after that. Now, once it's done, to safely close it down, you want to go to this bar right here and type in stop. You don't want to exit out of it because something may happen to your world that you don't want to happen. So it's going to save the chunks for the level, and then it will eventually close out of it. Now, once it's done, you're going to see a bunch of new folders and text documents. The first thing you want to do is, let's look at the ops one. These two over here are the banned IPs and the banned players. This is if you ban someone, it'll tell the IPs of their ban and the player name. So let's go to ops. You want to op yourself, which is basically like giving yourself admin. So we're going to close out of that and save it after we put our name. Server log. This you do not want to tamper with. Uh, server properties. You can do a bunch of stuff here, generator settings, just leave that there. Uh, allow another, true is for yes, false is for no. The level name, you can put that to whatever you want, like my world. Enable query, that doesn't really matter. Allow flight, you can do this true or false, I'm just going to leave it to true. Uh, the server port, you don't want to mess with, it's always 25565 for Minecraft. Level type is default, which is just a normal uh, spawn. You can do super flat and whatnot. Level seed, you can leave this blank to do a random seed or do whatever you want. So just uh, anything you want to do. Server IP, you want to leave this blank since we're going to pour it forward it. Max build height, this is automatically the max build height. You can't do it any further than that. Spawn NPCs, this is like villagers and whatnot. True is to have them spawn. Whitelist. This is for if you want just anybody on your whitelist to be able to join. I'm going to do true for that and then add people to my whitelist. I'll get to that soon. Snooper enabled. This is for the snooper settings for uh, Mojang to. It's like this new thing that they've done with Minecraft. It's a little bit complex, but I'm just going to leave that at true. Hardcore, that's if someone dies, then they are banned from the server. I'm just going to leave that at false. Online mode is true. PvP, you can either leave that to true or false. Difficulty, 0 is peaceful, 1 is easy, 2 is normal, and 3 is hard. Game mode 0, that's survival, and then there's game mode 1, which is creative. Game mode 2, I believe, is the adventure mode, which hasn't really been implemented that much in the game. Max players, this is as much as you want to do. Obviously, you want to do one if you're going to do just yourself. I don't know why you do just yourself, but if you wanted to, I'm just going to have, like, say, five people. Spawn monsters, that's like zombies, creepers, anything like that. Generic structures, this is like villagers or villages, temples, and whatnot. View distance, you can leave this at 10. To get less lag, you can do five, but I'm just going to leave it at 10. MOTD, that's the message of the day, so if someone joins, I'm going to put, like, Wel welcome to my server. I'm going to close out of that and save it. Now, whitelist. This is for people who are on your whitelist that you enabled true on server properties. If you didn't enable whitelist or set it as true, then you just want to leave it like this. Just don't put anything there. But since I have a whitelist, I'm going to put myself there and any of my friends who I want to be on the whitelist. So I'm going to save that. Now, after that, what you want to do is open up your ports. So, let's get to that. Now you want to go to your start and type in CMD. And then type in IP config. It's going to pop up a bunch of IPs under 
if we scroll up under wireless LAN adapter wireless network connection you want to look for default gateway now that's what we're going to use to be able to port forward our ports or open up the ports now what you want to do is open up your browser and then type in that default gateway IP that you got there once you type it in and you press enter you may get a thing that's going to ask you for username and password for mine I have to put my router name which is sneaky penguin and then the password for that router and hit OK once you get past the username and password, you're going to end up at a page that may or may not look like this. Every type of page is going to look different depending on your router. Mine is Cisco here at the top left. What you want to look for is something that mentions port forwarding. So this is going to be in applications and gaming. And then here it says single port forwarding. Now what you do here is it's going to look something like this. but the name of it is going to be MC server this is completely customizable it doesn't matter what you put here just as long as you can be able to define what kind of thing it is for the port the external and internal port is always going to be 25565 for minecraft it's different for different types of games now for the two IP address where it says 192.168.1 point you're going to want to open up your CMD again and look for the IPv4 address. This is still under the wireless LAN adapter, wireless network connection, where you found your default gateway with a 192.168.1.1. And what you're wanna, what you're going to want to do is it's going to look very similar to that, but the ending is going to look different than point one. So you're going to type in that ending right here. And then what you want to do is enable it. Now what you can do is, if you're not going to be on the server and you just want to shut it down, if you go back into these settings, then you can uncheck it and then click on save settings to close it so that no one can get into it. So I'm going to enable it, check the box that says enabled, and then click on save settings. Then I click on continue. Now what we need to do is open up our folder with the MC server and we're going to open this up and run it. Now we're going to wait until it gets to 100% and then it tells it it's done. Now once that's done, we're going to open up our Minecraft and then we're going to log into it and hope that it works. Alright, now that we're in Minecraft, we're going to click on Multiplayer then we're going to do Add Server. Now you can put the server name as anything. I'm just going to put my Minecraft server. Then server address for you, all you have to do is type in local host. You don't have to put any IPs or anything because it's going to be your wireless network that you're connecting to. So I'm going to click on done. You can see it has connection right there. So now, I am able to join my Minecraft server. Now, for other people to join, they won't be able to type in localhost or anything like that. What you need to do is get out of Minecraft real quick. You want to go into your web browser and type in whatismyip.com. And it'll tell you your IP address. I'm going to have mine blanked out because it's obviously secure information. I don't want anyone seeing. So now once it tells you your IP, you're going to want to, this is what your friends are going to have to use to connect. You don't want to show this to anyone you don't trust. So I am going to contact my friend, give him my IP, and tell him to join. Now if you have a whitelist on your server, we just want to stop it real quick. Wait for it to save the chunks. Then we're going to go into our whitelist and add our friend's name that's going to be on the whitelist server and that are going to use our IP to join. So I'm just going to add their name and then let them join. So now I'm going to go to my multiplayer server and I told my friend my IP and I added him to my whitelist so hopefully he'll be able to join. And there he is. So thank you guys for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.